there are a lot of uh, technical C-suite positions. You've got chief data officer, chief technical officer, chief information officer. How does the chief AI officer role differ from these? That's a great question. So, I mean, first of all, it's a new kind of role, right? Um, that we that we also at SAP, we have established at the beginning, 2024. And um, at least, I mean, there are different interpretations, right, on, on what that role entails. The way or why we have set it up, uh, specifically in SAP, is um, to really take a 360 perspective on AI um, with, for all the functions. I mean, as one of the largest... Um, enterprise application vendors, right, uh, specifically out of Europe, um, we have to take not, of course, only the adoption internally, right, for our processes and for our people into account, but obviously um, how we, you know, think about the products, how we bring AI all to our products. We can spend a little bit more time, I think, about our product strategy in a minute. Uh, and then really uh, think this end-to-end -end through, right? How do we do legal aspects, the commercial aspects? And as we all know, right, who are also regularly listening to this podcast, there's so many things that happen all, 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 every day. Every, every week, new models come around the corner. There's something happening on the regulatory side of the house. So the question is really like, what is the center of excellence or like the, the, the nucleus in the company that takes all those signals, all those concepts into account and, you know, fit them together like differently or uh, every single day, right? And there's a, every day there are new opportunities, new risks. And in this role, the way how we interpret it is really take an end-to-end -end view, right? But at the same time, it's also just a relatively small department because at the end of the day, and that's part of our strategy, as we embed AI uh, specifically all in our, our, our enterprise applications, is then to work with all the connected uh, board areas, right? product and engineering, the technology department, the CTO, the CIO for internal adoption, um, our sales and marketing teams uh, closely together, right, to then scale the entire approach uh, uh, across the entire portfolio that we have today. Okay, so that sounds like you're working with a lot of different teams there. As you mentioned, uh, product engineering, commercial yeah. teams, work with, legal teams, teams, the whole lot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, can you go into any more depth? Like, what do your day-to-day -day responsibilities look like? So first of all, as part of this chief AI officer mandate, um, we have uh, basically all the roles in there, right? So we have, for example, part of my team, that was the team also before, right? So AI is not a new thing. I was, before that, I was on the engineering side of the organization, right? This is also why this cross collaboration and, 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 and this work is so natural to us as a team because I was actually part of the product engineering board area within SAP, right? Where all the applications like our ERP, our HR applications, finance, supply chain, procurement applications like Conquer, Field Glass, Ariba, SuccessFactor, some of them you may know, are located. And, and I, was, I was always the cross engineering guy, if you will, right? Looking top to bottom, looking at our user experience, looking at our process integration, our technology adoption with respect to our technology platforms. And AI, we also did in the, in the last couple of years there as well. And we moved it out uh, directly on our CEO, uh, Christian Klein. And engineering is still with us where we build platform services like, for example, Joule, our generative AI co-pilot, which all of the applications are adopting, where we build what we call the generative AI hub, which is kind of the glue, if you will. Uh, where we bring the best of large language models or foundational models together with the real-time data that is stored within SAP and non-SAP systems. A, a couple of other reuse services for document information extraction, data attribute recommendation, recommend other recommendation services uh, that are kind of, you know, reuse services that you can embed uh, in multiple uh, different applications. So we build those. That, that's part of our engineering um, um, layer that we provide as a, as a service platform service to our own applications. But then, of course, we have a dedicated product a partner management team. We have a dedicated marketing team. We have a dedicated go-to-market and sales team. We have a dedicated implementation adoption team that helps customers. Uh, then all the innovations that we are building to adopt them very quickly, but also funnel the feedback from those customers back very quickly. And as you can imagine, what does my daily job look like? Like all of those things. Now, so every day we look at what's what's new on the product side of the house, right? How can we bring that directly to the customers? How can we enable our field with that? How can we turn 
the first customers, right, really to adopt also our latest innovations with that. Uh, how, do, how, how does this, what is the impact on our marketing approach? And we are reviewing all of these, all of these days, every, all of these things every single day uh, in order really to move really, really quickly and in alignment with our customers' expectations.